This is Hugo. Hugo's firm, Best Shares, is performing really well and he wants everyone to know. So he tweets. This is Gabriella. Gabriella works for the FCA. She's tasked with checking firms are compliant with the financial promotions regime. Gabriella visits Best Shares. Hugo's tweet did not comply with the financial promotions regime, and now his firm could be fined. Even worse, he could face going to prison. So what is a financial promotion? And how do you ensure you comply with the financial promotions regime and don't end up like Hugo? Well, if in the course of business, you encourage someone to invest, buy or sell, or engage in any kind of investment activity, it is a financial promotion and you are subject to the financial promotions regime. So why do we need a regime with more complicated rules and regulations to follow? Recent mis-selling scandals, such as PPI, have increased public awareness of potentially misleading sales tactics, lending and advice. The increase in the use of social media has led to new methods of communicating financial promotions. This could be through tweets or Facebook or any other form of social media. There's also been a rise in consumer champions, such as which, seeking to challenge practice and raise consumer awareness. So what is the financial promotions regime and what rules do we need to be aware of? The financial promotions regime is made up from layers of rules that aim to protect retail investors in the UK. ICOBS, MCOBS, Retail Distribution Review, TCF, CONC, Financial Promotions Order, these all play an important role when ensuring compliance with the regime. Want to avoid a hefty fine or even a jail sentence? Make sure you know how to comply with a financial promotions regime.